Hello everyone, uh, welcome you all back and today we are going to see how we can find the length of a string and we are not going to use the length function over here we are uh, going to use the piece of code to identify the length of uh, the string so we have this uh, program over here where we have this class for length of string main inside that we have the main method where we are initializing this string we are calling it word and uh, we have this method uh, which returns our uh, integer integer or int and uh, that will be the length of the string and we need to pass the word and let's go and see what's what we are doing inside this uh, method so if you see inside this method we have initialized uh, int variable we are calling it length and that is initialized to 0 ok so whenever you perform this to care array function or a method in, uh, to any string it returns an array of characters and for each array, uh, uh, each characters in that array we are running this loop right this is a for each loop and it will run for each element in this array right and uh, for each element we are incrementing this length since it is zero if this uh, array has one value or one element it will be incremented to one if it has five value it will be incremented to five okay so this will be splitted into an array of uh, characters and first we'll have s and for s uh, for this first s this will increment to one and for you it will get incremented to 2 and it will keep on doing that and it will print the length of this string so let's run this program and see what is the output of this program so if you see 9 is the length of this string ok now let's uh, put a breakpoint over here and try to debug the program and see what is the uh, what we are trying to do in the each step so once you put the breakpoint you need to go to the program right click and uh, debug as java application once you do that it will ask you to open the debug perspective so you can switch to debug perspective so that you will get the variables over right hand side and you will also see these options to run the uh, issue step at uh, a time okay so we are at this line and we haven't executed this so let's execute this line and initialize a variable a string variable we are, which we are calling it word and the value is subscribe so let's do that yeah. so if you can see on right hand side we have this uh, word okay which is of type of string and the value is subscribe now uh, uh, let's go inside this method and see what we are doing over here so we are initializing a uh, int variable length which is, is initialized to zero so if you see that is zero right now now we are splitting this uh, string to char array and that will return an array of character which will be assigned to this variable so let's uh, run this line and see the array of characters so if you see these are all the, uh, the characters of the that word subscribe and uh, we have a, a specific index for each of the characters okay and now we are running a for each loop so for each value in this array for s u b and all the values it will increment the length so initially it is zero now when i run this loop first time uh, let's see what will happen so if you see if you put a point uh, cursor over here here you will see the value of c is s and the length will increment right the length has been incremented so if you again go here the value of c has changed to u right and it will keep on doing that till the end of this array so the last value will be e so uh, uh, without wasting the time let's just, re just resume this program and see what is the output so uh, we have the length of the string is 9 so hope you guys have understood the concept and if you guys find any value in this video please do like share and subscribe thanks thanks for watching